Hey everyone, it's Luke here from LT Gaming and welcome back to you LT Gamers. Today, I'm doing a what to expect on the Expanse A Telltale series. That's not something I thought I would hear myself say after the sad demise of the company previously. However, they are back and they have a new game coming out and it's in a series that I really enjoy. The main reason I wanted to cover this in our What to Expect series is to raise awareness. I know there's a lot of sci-fi fans on the channel and I wasn't aware that this game was coming, so here we go. The game is available on PS5, PS4, Xbox Series X and S and is an Epic Game Store exclusive. I know this is going to upset some of you, but if you can see past it and you're not against Epic, then it's definitely an experience to pick up on the PC. This follows on from another narrative experience that we covered on the channel, Star Trek Resurgence. I really strongly felt that that game sat as a 7 out of 10, and while I enjoyed the game, it had many bugs and things in it that just weren't polished. I couldn't even get widescreen to work, the performance was abysmal, and the patch support since, it's been pretty mediocre. So I am hoping whoever is responsible for the resurrection of Telltale, that they can do a better job in this regard. Essentially, in this game, you get to experience the exciting universe of the Expanse like never before. From scavenging wrecked ships in Zero-G to combating pirates, you have to make the difficult choices in this latest adventure from Telltale. And those difficult choices are promised to have grave consequences, so you have to contend with the unforgiving brutality of space, the politics of a corrupt solar system as seen in the books in the TV series, and the animosities of your crew. In the game, you get to take the role of Belter Kamina Drummer, and it is very much a prequel to the original series. She eventually goes on to become president of the Transport Union. She was born on Ceres Station, where she worked as a dockhand until she met Anderson Dawes. She becomes disillusioned with this relationship and eventually ends up with a bounty on her head. Now, she resolves this and ends up becoming head of security at Tycho Station. Throughout the series, she is constantly interacting with the OPA factions, and getting herself into trouble. I do have quite a lot of experience with the Expanse universe and it's always fascinated me with its harder take on sci-fi and its brutal political intrigue. I ended up reading three of the books and watched the first season of the TV series which were all excellent. However, I did lose interest towards the end of book three and I'm wondering if the game will have the same staying power. However, the release of this title has reignited my interest in the series, so I'm going to force my partner to watch the first season with me again. One thing that did impress me from a story perspective is they did consult with James S.A. Corey, and he gave creative input into the storyline. This encourages me from a narrative side that we're going to get something that keeps us engaged throughout the episode. Right everyone, if you've made it this far into the video, me and Tom would both appreciate if you would like, comment and subscribe. All of the interaction helps to push our videos and build the channel, and we really appreciate it. The game is said to have a much better branching experience than previous Telltale titles. However, as a result, the chapters are shorter than the other games. Being a Telltale experience, we can't expect that much gameplay, but it has been improved with the ability to collect salvage and move around in zero G. In fact, when asked about the gameplay aspect, Telltale came back and said it's an evolution of what we've done in the past to convey the vastness of space, and it's really a huge component of the show. We factor in things like gravity, floating in zero-g, walking on walls, and new ways to navigate open-up exploration, unlike their older games. If they are able to deliver this improvement in gameplay, then I think it will immerse the player more in the narrative experience. The game runs on the Unreal Engine and the graphics have been greatly improved. The lighting, I have to say, looks exceptional during the gameplay clips that I've seen. This shows that Telltale have decided to step up the presentation aspect of their game and this is greatly welcome. One thing that is interesting to note is you need no prior understanding of the Expanse universe to enjoy this title, so it can basically appeal to anyone, which is a great opportunity to jump into the series also. The game will be episodic and every two weeks a new episode will release, with the first coming on July 27th. Also, if you like to pre-order, and I know some people don't, you do get 24 hours pre-launch access. So basically, you could be playing this now. So there we go, LT Gamers, another interesting experience on the channel and a welcome return for Telltale. If you decide to pick this up, let me know what you think in the comments below. 
I am excited and intrigued by this title because of two things. One, I played a lot of Telltale games growing up and there's an element of nostalgia. Plus also The Expanse was really a period of my life where I found this amazing series that nobody knew about. I was into the books quite early and I really enjoyed them. So also another element of nostalgia. I think this one is a buy for me. Lots of stuff coming for the channel. Star Trek is on the way this weekend and Tom has some great stuff up his sleeve. I expect nothing less from my very talented brother. But anyway, as always, I will catch you on the next one.